there's my friend Vung, my sister, doing the bar me. Hello! <laughs> we got some activity down here today, folks. We've got some. Yeah, yeah. Sister Vung. And. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We've got some film crew down here today. Going to film and bang the market and then bang. <coughs> the only issue is. Is they've come down here and the market's almost going to close so they've missed out on the busiest time of day which from my perspective is, is just silly but I don't actually know what they're doing so maybe they're just I don't know we'll see Bornam Happy birthday Bokao 12 years old. Happy birthday, bull cow! Woo! <laughs> Tweet! Hey! <laughs> and. Happy birthday, dear bull cow! Happy birthday to you! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! It's very interesting watching Bukau eat her pasta with a mask on. Wow! <laughs> Such skill! What a professional! My God! Well, here we are at KFC, folks. Celebrating this beautiful young girl's 12th birthday over here, Bukau. And there's a sister born up. Here's this beautiful young lady here. What's your name? Hmm? You're so pretty. What's your name? Hmm? KFC, 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 KFC in Hoi An, Vietnam. Whoop, 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 whoop. YouTube. What's your name? My name is King. King? King. King. Hello. Xin chào King. YouTube. Hello Australia. Hello Australia. Thank you King. Chào chào. Kim. Kim. Good boy. What's this? Very nice. Wow. This one I actually soup soup. Magnet. 
We don't know. It is. G'day guys, today is Monday the 14th of November and the time is 5 minutes to 11 and I am on the hunt for the best burger in Anbang. So far I've had two uh, fairly good burgers. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the one next door to this other one that was pretty good and today I'm going to go to one called Burger Craft which is purportedly the best burger here in Anbang. So we're gonna do that. And um, hopefully it's, it's as good as what I've, the reviews and the pictures say. Um, the other video that you saw, I was in another restaurant. Uh, and that burger was pretty good too. So let's, uh, let's go and do that. It's very hot here today, both sunny and really muggy. It's quite a bit windy as well. Um, here in Anbang, uh, sort of mid to late afternoon, there's always a breeze pretty much and um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I guess it comes off the water and it's a bit cooler, um, etc. So yeah, in late afternoon, mid to late afternoon, I sit out on the table and chairs in the shade and um, I uh, just catch the, the afternoon breeze and it's very nice but during the day it's just too hot to go out anywhere so I stay at home with the aircon on stuff around on the computer doing some designs fashion designs etc bit of research that sort of thing anyway let's touch base when we get there all right all right folks we're Hey, how you going? Morning. We're almost there. I'll show you this first one where I got a beautiful burger the other day. And then uh, hopefully Kraft Burger's open. And we'll go in there. Alright, it's called Seven Sun Bakery Coffee and Foods. They do an awesome burger in there, guys. Absolutely awesome. Sin Chow, how are you? Sin Chow. <laughs> Had a beautiful burger in there, but today we're going to try this one up here, Kraft Burger, and here it is here, Burger Kraft. Oh, they're closed. I, I very, <laughs> I don't think they're even open anymore. I've come past here a gazillion times and never seen them open. Anyway, let's go and get this one in here. Hello. You mind if I film YouTube? Is that okay? Okay, sweet ass. Alright, so we've got lovely little pastries here, guys. Wonderful, wonderful, but the burger is what I'm after. Little case there, lovely. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, beautiful. Burger has arrived. I'm gonna take the food out. The 
Canada has arrived. Beautiful. Look at that. burger I've had so far in Anbang. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10 simply because I haven't tried next door yet and that might be a 10 out of 10 but um, I've never seen them open so I don't think that's ever going to happen so this place here Seven Sun Bakery Coffee and Food best burgers in town guys all right G'day guys, it is Tuesday the 15th of November, it's about 5 minutes to 1pm in the afternoon and we're on the hunt again for the best hamburger in Anbang. Uh, it was recommended to me yesterday by a British expat that lives here, name of Paul, friend of mine now. He mentioned that it's um, very hard to find a decent hamburger here in Anbang and I said yeah it is. I've just been uh, eating my way through just about every fucking restaurant that you can poke a stick at. So anyway, he said there's one down here called Bikini Bottom and that's where I'm going mate. Go check that out. He said it's very cheap, it's a, one of the cheapest burgers you'll find in Ambang. And um, he said that the meat patties are quite thin but according to Paul, it is the only hamburger in Ambang that actually tastes like a hamburger so we're going to go and check that out now we're nearly there i've just been to the bank put out a bit of cashola and i'm feeling a little bit rock and roller all right the approach of bikini bottom here we go going in here it is here bikini bottom express are they open i don't know yes there's someone in there Looks like it might even be air conditioned. Holy shit. Oh, heaps of people in there. All right, let's close this off. Uh, they go like this. If you're good, yeah. I'm a super saiyan baby, like my name was Goku Feeling too good, real good, yeah I'm so true Remember bad days used to have, yeah I felt blue Now I'm up high in the sky like ooh ooh Mama said if I want it I need to have a plan Get up off that corner, see the world, boy you the man And if I show you the steps, I think you'll understand Slide left, move right, now you dancing man Nah, 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 nah I think you need to relax Nah, 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 nah You do that, you'll catch all the checks Yeah! Take it easy That's what I'ma do Take it easy Show you how to move Take it easy Go and fix your ass too. If you think I know a good, good time Come and find me We do it real big Yeah, baby, I Good, good 
time, come and find me. We do it real big. Yeah, baby, I You need to relax. I'm speaking the facts. I'm getting the checks and I ain't paying the tax. Nah, I'm really capping. I ain't on that. Cause whatever I spend, I get it right back. This gon' make you really wanna move. This gon' make you lose your attitude. This gon' make you wanna prove. I mean, like, ooh, I mean, King Flex. I'ma make you lose that blues. I mean, nah, 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 nah. nah. Hey. I hope you're feeling relaxed. I hope you eat. Nah, 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 nah. King Flex, I get all the checks. Guys, I'm giving that nine and a half out of ten. The only reason I didn't give him the ten is because I haven't tried all the restaurants here in Ambang yet. But <coughs> that was by far the best burger I've had so far in Ambang. It it's rivals the last one I was at, Seven Sons, which I gave a nine out of ten. Uh, this one, Paul, you've done well by recommending it to me, mate, because it actually really does taste like a real American hamburger. And uh, the oil content was good. Me and T-Man, we know about the oil content, don't we, mate? From the double quarter pounders back in Oz. If it drips off your elbow, that's a good sign. <laughs> anyway, everything was good about that burger. It was oily, it was moist, the buns were cooked, they weren't undercooked, they weren't overcooked, they were light and fluffy. The french fries were awesome. Everything was good, the ambience is good here. I don't know if I'll be able to upload what I'm saying to you now, I may have to come back and edit it uh, voiceover because of the music that's playing and the weird thing with YouTube algorithm these days is copyright um, and you can have songs not, uh, sorry, a whole video is not uploaded because of the salt part of me or they blank it out and it just stuffs it up so we'll see. Alright! Alright guys, so as stated Nine and a half out of ten for that burger. It was a bloody ripper, mate. And um, so I had a triple cheese burger. It was actually a double, but I got an extra patty of me. And uh, sorry about the banging. It'll be over in a minute. And I got extra fries and a Coca-Cola, and it was two hundred and eight thousand dong. I gave them two hundred and twenty. Told them to keep the change because it was just such a good burger. And uh, I'll put the, the transfer rate across, uh, in, in here in a moment. So now I'm just on my way home. It is stinking hot here today, folks. I'm going to turn you around. So my other favourite restaurant, Soul Kitchen, is down in through there. No need to go in there today because I've just eaten. There's the Deck House restaurant up through there. And then up through there, down through there is the Shore Club. And down here is the way home, so I have to call into the uh, convenience store, also known as a mini mart, and get a couple of things in there. All right. Yeah, so that uh, hamburger was uh, amazing, guys. What can I say? So the time now is a quarter to three in the afternoon on Tuesday, and uh, yeah, I'm going to start changing the titles of my uploads because it's just starting to get a bit ridiculous. You know, Unbanged Beach episode. This would have been episode 12 if I had have used that name. So I don't know what I'm going to call them, but I'm not going to be doing Ambang Beach episode 11 or 12 or 13. Whatever numbers are next, I'm just going to stop doing that because um, it's just getting a bit silly. So... Anyway, I am going to shout out to my Uncle Chris and Robbie Nelms for giving me a recipe for a insect repellent, which is a combination of Listerine, can you believe it? It's uh, multitasking stuff, this. Not only can you uh, gurgle it and get lovely minty fresh breath, 
but if you mix some of this in a square bottle this is one of the squirt uh, insect repellent bottles that you can get here this is what it looks like with the plastic wrapper still on it I've ripped the wrapper off this and um, so what I've done is I've poured maybe half Listerine and half water and sh shaked it and um, yeah, Robbie told me that maybe a week or two ago and I hadn't hadn't tried it yet. And then this morning when I went for my coffee down at the Nbang Market, I was being bloody predated upon by every midgie this side of Texas. Uh, g'day Matt, Megan, Ryan and Heidi. <coughs> no pun intended there guys, that's just something I've always said. And uh, mate, they were just like feeding on me something bad. So I went to the pharmacy and um, I bought an, a, a normal little bottle of insect repellent that, that's available here. And then I saw the Listerine. I actually remembered what Robbie had told me. And uh, so I got the Listerine. And the amazing thing about this Listerine, other than the nice minty smell that you have, which smells like really cheap cologne, but you get, you get used to that. My legs were so itchy from the ankles, the feet, maybe halfway up the shins. Seriously itchy, mate. And, and if you know what midges are like, they actually urinate on your skin. They don't have a needle proboscis like mosquitoes do. Um, so what I believe and what the research is that I have done shows me that they urinate on your skin. And in their urine is a like an acid that eats away at your skin and makes it itchy and then you put your finger down there and itch it and you disturb the first few layers of skin and that also in their urine is a blood thinning agent which kind of magnetic not magnetically but if, you know the blood comes to the surface and then they just lick it up with their tongues but it's their urine that is the aggressor here it's um you know if they didn't bloody if it wasn't itchy, you wouldn't even know these guys were there having a bloody um, vampiric uh, buffet. <coughs> so that's what it is. So this Listerine, after the fact that I was eaten alive, I tried it. I, I just I hadn't mixed it with water or in a spray bottle yet. I just dabbed it on my fingers a, a fair bit and put it all around. It took away the itchiness straight away and I haven't been bothered for the rest of the day. I've had several showers since then and I have applied the watery uh, diluted mix of Listerine all over my body and no midges, no mosquitoes and no flies have touched me. So a little bottle of this is 50,000 dong. I'll put the, the, the transfer rate there for you for what that equates to in Australian dollars. Yes, all right. Yeah, it is hot as hell here today, guys. Um, it is 29 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 80%. We had a little bit of rain last night and a little bit this morning as well. So there is a massive amount of humidity and um, quite frankly, I'm not used to it. So I've gone and done all my shopping and now I'm back here editing up this, uh, these clips and uh, sitting outside that, that afternoon breeze that I've told you about is coming through, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, that's it. I want to talk to you about um, <clears throat> not criminalizing people. And what I mean by that is in relation, I'll use this as an example, you know, getting the evil eye from someone, which happens regardless of who we are. Uh, it's got it may or may not have anything to do with us at all if somebody is looking at us and giving us the evil eye they may simply be looking in our direction and remembering something from the past that's that's um, hurtful or distasteful for them or for us I should say uh, or futurizing something that may or may not even happen and the body goes out in sympathy with what the mind's thinking and starts you know pulling faces and you start getting a bit of that hostile look in your eye because you're in protection mode you know in defense mode so by not criminalizing people and understanding that they do not know what they are doing in that moment it is very important for us to for me personally to not make the biggest mistake that we all tend to make and even I do it today still sometimes uh, we are famous for being humans our, one of our biggest mistakes is that we allocate consciousness to everyone else 
but ourselves, meaning uh, somebody gives you the evil eye or somebody steals from you or something or, you know, scratches your car and doesn't leave a note, whatever, think of anything. And we all of a sudden say things like, ah, they should know better. You know, they're 20 years old, 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever. The famous thing we love to say to ourselves is, ah, they should know better. Well, in that moment, we didn't, did we? <clears throat> so we don't criminalise people or we try not to. And the idea, that's the first idea. And the second idea is to forgive. But <clears throat> with forgiveness, there are three levels of forgiveness. Two are fake and only one is real. The first kind of forgiveness is called lip service forgiveness, where in conversation to somebody else or even to ourselves, we say... Ah, oh, forgave them long ago. You know, oh, it's water under the bridge, mate, you know. Mm, yeah, well, that's bullshit. Uh, the second one is sincere lip service uh, forgiveness, which is basically the first part of forgiveness, lip service forgiveness, but on steroids, because this one, it, these we really mean it when we say it, but it's still bullshit. So what happens then when we are sincerely giving forgiveness to somebody else and it's not real forgiveness, which I'm going to tell you about in a moment, it comes under the banner of being a well-meaning person and a technical expert. Now, this spiritual culture in the world today is full of charismatic charlatans, mate, that have very little experience with spiritual ideas or practice of it. They have knowledge and that's as far as it goes. And knowledge in and of itself goes absolutely nowhere, mate, in terms of inner transformation. You may become a billionaire like so many of these charlatans out there and still be further from the goal or the aim than we were even before. And we run the risk without doing real forgiveness uh, of becoming a bigger monster than we were before, simply because we become charismatic we can have power over other people because we have the knowledge. We don't want that. You I'm telling you, you don't want that. Real forgiveness requires us to look through our historical memory photo album of whatever it is, uh, the event that's happened to us. So we'll stick with the evil eye, right? Somebody's given us the evil eye, though. And the first, maybe the first reaction is, Who's this bastard or bitch thinks she is? She's looking at me like that. And we go into fight mode, or flight or fight, but the ego being the ego wants to fight most of the times, nine times out of ten, so we go into fight mode and then we start giving them back as good as they've given us. That is a big mistake, right? So what we do is the idea is to search our historical memory photo album of a time when we have also given somebody the evil eye. If we are sincere with ap applying this idea, it should not really take too long to find an example, a real example of a time when we have done exactly the same thing. Now, if we can't find an actual event because there are these things in the culture called buffers, which are like between the trains they have those little rubber things to stop them banging too much and it sort of suppresses the the shock we have a lot of those and the only way to get rid of a buffer is to start watchfulness which brings us back to watching the breath and not trying to control it and keeping a watch on thoughts that come in and remembering to apply the idea that we are not thought we are not this body we are not the mind we are not the heart we are a soul or the potentiality of the creation of a soul that break dances around the place in this organic temple that they call a body. So, it is a lot easier to forgive another person and ourselves in the process when the evil eye is given to us and then we've searched our memory album and we've seen a time when we have given somebody the evil eye uh, it's a lot easier to forgive then because it's a realization it's actually a, a conscious shock because we are consciously going into our memory bank right and finding a time 
whichever the event is, evil eye, someone stole off you, well, yeah, I stole shit when I was a kid as well. I mean, you know, come on, we just go back into the memory album and then we can forgive them and go, well, you know, no bolt of lightning came out of the sky and, you know, killed me. I'm still kicking and, you know, why, why should I give this person such a hard time? Clearly, they were, you know, suffering from a lot of negativity. We don't know the context of the of the thing. I'm not saying we have to go play tennis with these people or eat a meal at their house, but the thing is, we do not forgive another person for something we've done ourselves. It keeps us in prison. It's also known as hell on earth. It's an inner state. It's not a physical one. But here's the ironic thing. Inner hell physicalates into the exoteric world which is earth right the more negativity we have in ourselves and the the more unforgiveness we have in ourselves massive levels of anxiety can happen and then it turns into a habit and it's extremely hard to get out of it takes years there's no quick fix for this stuff guys and we end up not wanting to go out into public at all or it has to be in very short bursts and things like that so you know forgiveness is it takes years and years and years to perfect the art form of it but i tell you there's no time like the present to start and the rewards start coming really fast slowly at first for me and then bigger and bigger as things unfold events come in evil eyes everywhere you know oh bang i've given people evil eyes a lot of the time someone calls you an arsehole well i call people assholes all the time in my own mind you know what's the difference the body doesn't know the difference the heart doesn't know it's the same thing so we apply these ideas to ourselves because we're extremely selfish creatures and we want to feel good these ideas help us to feel good and the bonus is the world gets a cleansing as well Oh yes, how lovely. All right.